Water, a flowing source of life. It's refreshing to drink, relaxing to hear, enjoyable to swim in, and vital to the survival of the planet and its inhabitants. Water's most essential role is as a process of metabolism, both on a global and on an individual level. Switzerland, best known for the spectacular Alps, is doing its utmost to promote the preservation of natural watercourses and the sustainable use of their delicious waters. Basel, a city dependent on the flow of the Rhine as a source of water and as a means of transportation of goods and people, has a deep appreciation for water. On warm days, people especially enjoy the beauty of the Rhine. Swimming, eating at riverside cafes, one of which you can actually swim up to, or even flowing with the current on a traditional ferry. Rhine water is used in the production of goods as a source of energy, as a physical ingredient, and as a coolant. Additionally, water has a fantastical presence in the city and an abundance of fountains of all styles imaginable. Most courtyards and parks have either an elaborate central fountain or a large water trough with a basic spigot. Many fountains prominently feature Basel's symbol, the basilisk, a hybrid rooster and serpent of mythical powers. However, unlike in other cities, these fountains are not just for show. You can actually drink out of almost every single one of them. And believe me, you're missing out if you refuse. In Switzerland, over 80% of the drinking water is from groundwater sources, of which half may be enjoyed untreated due to its flawlessness regarding taste, smell, and appearance and conferment of the highest hygienic and microbial standards of excellence. Both city fountains and water spigots out in the forest may dispense the best tasting groundwater you've ever had the pleasure to drink. A complex urban drainage system ensures that wastewater from both residential and industrial uses is treated before it may re-enter the water cycle. Switzerland's push for healthy and sustainable living and the Water Protection Act of 1991 ensures that the water quality and especially the micropollutant content are very closely monitored by the cities, the individual cantons, and the federal government. But most of all, it is the highly educated and ecologically minded population's task to ensure Basel's flow towards a completely sustainable and safe use of water remains uninterrupted, but always ready to deal with any sudden rapids or challenges faced further down the river.